chicks. Good morning. How you doing? Welcome to A Tale of Three Cabins. Today I'm in Northern Ohio, but I'd like to talk to you about our Southern Ohio cabin. Last time I was down there, I uh, planned to do a lot of work with our tractor, JD, and I had no means of transporting it down there. I had a trailer, but I was gonna purchase a new trailer and that deal fell through. In the meantime, since I thought I was buying a new trailer, I ended up selling my old trailer. So last time I was in Southern Ohio, we got a delivery of stone. I was planning on redoing a culvert pipe out by the road and then using the brush hog. So we could only go down there, do a little bit of work. And uh, I did get the stone delivered, but it still needs to be spread. Uh, delivery driver spread it as well as he could um, but we still need JD to get down there but I thought maybe today we'd talk about the history of that cabin and just kind of go over some of the things that happened when we bought it and some of the things we changed afterwards so let's take a quick look back on 15 acres just northeast of Marietta about 25 minutes the original owners started building their cabin in the year 2000. The original dimensions would be 16 by 24 feet. Eventually, when the cabin was completed, they needed to expand. They would use the porch to add on a bathroom, a bedroom, and an entryway, and actually extend the cabin out further and create a porch in front of the porch. To house their tools and their lawnmower, they built a small shed, about 10 feet by 10 feet. There was no well or septic system installed, but the place did have a bathroom with a compost toilet and some running water. Rainwater was collected off the roof and stored in a tank, which was enclosed just outside of the back of the cabin. Inside under the steps would be a water pump. This would provide water for the kitchen sink, a bathroom sink, and a shower. In January of 2008, we would find out that the property would be for sale. We knew the people that lived next door, and we thought it would be a great place to get away, do some hunting, and enjoy the outdoors. So this is some footage when we actually went out there, met with the owners for the first time and we're deciding whether or not we're going to buy. So I finished walking the property lines. We talked with the owners. He gave us a brief class on how the water system works, how the stove works, how the heat works, turning on the propane, switching the propane tanks, and how to blow out the water line. That propane heater on the wall supplies most of the heat, but there are some baseboards in the bathroom and in the bedroom. In the first six years that we owned the cabin, I only went through one of those propane cylinders. Needless to say, we bought the cabin. We may have paid a little more than we wanted to for it, but we would actually make up for it in the long run. We began by putting our finishing touches on it, taking all that OSB board out of the upstairs and putting drywall up there. We would tear off all the porch railings and put up a screen in. The sellers left their portable air conditioner, which was on wheels, but we decided to build one into the wall.
eight months after we purchased the cabin in the rear of our property, a new company bought the rights to our gas well. They began construction and put in a new gas pump. Shortly after that, the well started producing and we started getting some royalty checks. And that kind of helped ease our pain, thinking we might have paid too much for the property. In the long run, over the course since we've owned it, we've actually recouped everything we put into it. After putting our finishing touches on the inside of the cabinet, it was time to work out. Our first task was to tear part of the shed down and move it. Starting the creek. Nice and gentle, just like you planned. Well, thank you for watching that first part about our cabin in Southern Ohio. Hopefully next time we could take JD with us, either get in a trailer or borrow in a trailer, and uh, have JD do a little work for us. And in the meantime, continue to watch our channel. I hope you subscribe and keep an eye on us.